And invitation to turn off any uh, potential forms of distractions, your cell phone, your email, and really give yourself the gift of being fully present here for, for this session, for these precious minutes that we get together today. Good, it's 12.31, so I'm gonna uh, get started. So welcome, my name is Jackie Roberge. I'm a senior associate at Minds Matter, and I'm really excited to be here today because I'm very passionate about meditation. And we are celebrating World Mental Health Day, which was October uh, 10th. And I have seen personally in my life the impact that meditation has had. I've been meditating for over 26 years. And it really is one of the, the best ways, I, I believe the best way to rebalance the nervous system. And also what I have found over time is it's really helped me in terms of developing just more patience, more compassion, and really the stress and the stressors that we are all facing, especially with COVID, it's, it's um, exacerbated things a lot. Uh, so they will always exist around us. But with meditation, what I find is uh, we're able to, to step back and observe the stress and not feel as overwhelmed or as caught up in it and overwhelmed and as caught up in our own emotions. And really the whole practice of mindfulness helps us bring this, this non-judgmental awareness to what's going on inside and around us. And it's, it's really powerful if we can really get in tune with, with what's happening in our, in our body, in our emotions. And I love the quote from Eckhart Tolle is, awareness is the greatest agent of change. So unless we're aware, we're not working on moving in the direction that we want. So to that end, I would like to ask uh, you guys a question. As I mentioned in the beginning, I'd like to have this a little bit interactive at the beginning. So the question is, what things, situations, activities do you think positively influence your mental health? So it could be things like, you know, your, your morning walk, uh, connecting in nature, watching a sunset, um, playing with kids uh, so what helps or improves your mental health and again invitation to share in the chat either pick to share with everyone you can use that little drop down menu <clears throat> or you can just share with the organizers and panelists Morning coffee when the world feels silent. Nice. <clears throat> what else? What for you really is a, a positive influence, has a positive influence on your mental health, your mental state, your emotional state? Walks alone in nature. Yeah. Could be just connecting with friends, family, puppies. <laughs> nice. Yeah, puppies, dogs, cats, unconditional love. So important. Okay, the second question I have for you guys today is, what if anything do you notice that challenges your mental health? that uh, feels like it's a negative or a, uh, a less positive uh, influence on your mental health state. <clears throat> and that can be things like conflict, uh, having too much on your agenda, mm -hmm. listening to the news uh, could be one thing. I know that, uh, you know, just hearing COVID stats, hearing COVID news. So what are the things that you know are negatively influencing? your mental health state. Running, uh, ruminating over and over again about the same thing, it's causing unpleasant emotion in me. Excellent. The news, yeah. Good, and again, just coming back to the importance of creating awareness around 
these influences in our life without judging them, without saying this is good or bad, just noticing the impact that they have on us. And knowing that we can choose, often we can choose to do more or less of the, some of the things like watching the news. <clears throat> okay, so with that, we're going to get into the, the, the practice. I invite you to adopt a comfortable seated position. You could also be lying down if you've been sitting for too long. And I invite you to put both feet on the floor if you can and really feel that connection with the earth. It's, it's a great mindfulness practice just all on its own, just sitting with both feet on the floor, feeling that connection helps us feel more grounded, more centered, and then elongating the spine. So sitting up nice and tall, your shoulders are relaxed, your chin can be just slightly tucked, and you can either lower your gaze or close your eyes. And the invitation is for the next 15 or 20 minutes to just still the body and then just listen to my guidance as we just go on a little meditative journey. No pressure to perform, no pressure to do anything but listen. Now I invite you to imagine a wave of relaxation starting at the top of your head. Imagine that it's it's like a warm feeling moving slowly down you, almost like when you're pouring honey, just a really slow, fluid movement of this relaxation moving through the scalp, down into your forehead. Relaxing your eyes, cheeks, jaw. Feeling this warm energy moving through the neck, throat. Down into the shoulders. And feeling, visualizing this warmth trickling down both arms, the elbows, the forearms, right out to the hands. And just taking a few breaths, just feeling both arms relaxed. You might feel a bit heavy. And imagining the wave continuing through your core, relaxing your inner organs and glands. Feel the warmth moving through your hips, to your thighs, knees, calves, right down to your feet. Just taking a few breaths, feeling both legs relaxed. Feeling that connection with the earth, sense of feeling grounded. And then just take a moment to observe the whole body in a state of stillness. It's the invitation for the body to relax and release. And when you think all your muscles are relaxed, give them permission to go even deeper, let go even further. And if there's any sensations of discomfort, pain, tingling, the invitation is just to observe them without judgment, without wanting anything to be different. Just being present with what's there. 
Mindfulness, we bring an attitude of curiosity, of openness, acceptance of the present moment, just as it is. Good. Now I invite you to bring your attention to your breath. Just noticing the flow of the breath in through the nose, down through the throat, into the lungs. Noticing all the little subtle movements, your shoulders, your chest, rib cage, belly. Then just taking a moment to observe the breath. Is it fast or slow? Smooth or choppy? Is it deep or shallow? Often when we're stressed, we tend to breathe more with the chest, so shallow breathing which means we get less oxygen with each breath. It's an invitation to, during the day, just pay some attention to your breathing. So the breath and your body, any sensations using your senses, your two anchors to the present moment. Your breath and your body are always in the present. They're never wandering to the future or the past like your mind does. They're always with you, They're always accessible. So feeling in, like your mind is creating scenarios about the future, regretting, ruminating about the past. The invitation is just to come back to feeling the breath, feeling the body. Good, and if your mind does wander during this session, know that that's normal. And every time you notice the invitation is just to acknowledge and bring your attention back back to my voice, back to the practice, without any judgment, without being hard on yourself. It's just part of the practice. And every time we notice and bring our attention back, we're, we're developing that, that muscle of mindfulness, we're developing our mental fitness. So now I'm going to invite you to imagine taking a walk in nature. And as much as possible, opening up your senses to really vividly imagine as if you were there, walking down a path through a forest and underneath your feet, feeling the softness of the ground, the leaves, maybe pine needles, a variety of colors of leaves, red, orange, yellow, green, a tapestry of colors beneath your feet. And imagine looking around you, seeing the trees, feeling the peacefulness of the forest, appreciating the silence, the stillness.
maybe seeing the sun shining through in certain areas of the forest, certain openings, it's glowing warm light. Maybe feeling it on your cheeks, your head, your shoulders. And maybe hearing some sounds of nature, some birds, crickets, maybe a gentle wind blowing through the leaves. A warm wind. Again, just noticing the peaceful environment around you and how that's affecting your energy, your state of being. Bringing potentially more inner calm, feelings of serenity, of peace. Of harmony. Harmony with nature. Internal harmony, all the different systems in the body. Good. And an invitation just to take a moment to feel gratitude for nature, for its calming effect, for its beauty. And you can imagine continuing on your walk, maybe smelling the fresh air of the forest, maybe seeing the occasional wild flower, burst of color, maybe even seeing some birds. Really immersing yourself this nature walk. And an invitation to notice how your body is feeling. Observing any sensations. Again, without judging, without expectations. Good, and now I invite you to bring your attention to your heart center. And you can feel like with each in-breath and out-breath, you're breathing with, through, and with and through your heart. Feeling the energy in the heart expanding. The characteristics of the heart, the energy of the heart expanding, sense of compassion, empathy, love. Forgiveness.
One of the most important characteristics, especially for mental health, is just a feeling of self-acceptance, self-love, acceptance of exactly who you are and how you are in this moment. Fully embracing all aspects of you. With an open heart, with compassion, with love for yourself. Again, feeling the expansion of your heart. Expansion of those feelings of compassion, empathy for others, patience, gratitude. I invite you to take a moment just to appreciate just the huge range of emotions of the human heart from sadness to anger to anxiety or worry to passion and joy and excitement and peace. No other creature has a heart with such an expansive range of emotions. Just fully appreciating your capacity to feel, to have emotions. It's like on a piano, there's low notes and there's high notes and it's the music comes from the blend of all that, all the emotions that make up being human, facing challenges, facing setbacks, being able to accept that these are part of the human journey, part of what help us grow and learn and evolve. And I'd invite you with this heart energy feeling expansive and open just to send love to one person right now that you think may be in need. You can hold an image in your mind of the person, just sending them love, compassion, caring, kindness, whatever feels right. I invite you to bring your attention just back to your breath. Noticing the breath again. In your body, noticing any physical sensations. And it's when we're in these deep relaxed states that our body is a chance to rebalance, to create inner harmony, fluidity, state of homeostasis, balance, equilibrium. Good, and let's finish with three deep conscious breaths. So big breath in. And slow, long exhale, again.
the last time. Good, an invitation to just slowly start moving fingers and toes. Maybe rotating your shoulders or neck, just doing a little stretch, whatever feels right for you to come back into your environment, into your day. And it's important when we do a longer practice like this that you take a few minutes to allow your, your brain and body to reintegrate into a normal state. Our brain waves um, change during meditation, so just allowing yourself to come back into a, a normal daytime brain state. Uh, it's important not to move too quickly, not to jump up and you know run to the phone, just slowly coming out of the meditation. And I'd invite you to, to share one word in the chat about how you're feeling right now, either physically, emotionally, mentally, sharing what's present for you, feeling calm, relieved. I always feel rested after meditation, it feels so nice. Mm. Good, so I, I want to thank you all again for taking this time to, to come together as a community, to meditate, to open our hearts and to feel compassion, to feel self-love, to share that love and to, to really open, um, open ourselves up to greater levels of awareness around mental health and, and what you can do to support yourself and to, to support others. So thank you so much for coming, um, and we will hope to do these kind of things again in the future. Thank you all. <laughs>